you've made the decision to come out. Why is now the right time? It's been such a long time of lying um, and I've just processed and processed every day of just about how I want to do it, when I want to do it and I think now is just the right time to do it. You know, I feel like I'm ready to tell people about my story. I want people to know the real me and lying all the time this isn't what I've wanted to do and it has been a struggle but now I just do feel like I'm ready to be myself, be free and just be confident with it all. Talk us through your journey. When did you realise you were gay and what impact has that had on your football? can't really put a date on it but I'd say maybe five or six, you know, it has been quite a while. At that age you don't really think of football and being gay doesn't mix. Um, so all the way through my life I was like, yeah, it's fine, you'll get a girlfriend when you're older and you'll change and it'll be fine and then as you do get older you realise you just can't and it's just something that you won't be able to do. So I've had girlfriends in the past to try and make all my mates think that I'm straight and it was just a massive cover-up, so it has been a struggle. And then in school, everyone always used to ask me, are you sure you're not gay? And it was like, no, I'm not, because I wasn't ready, but just don't want to lie anymore. Did you feel as though you might need to hide who you are to become a professional footballer? Yeah, I think so, obviously, because there's no one out. I felt like I do need to hide it and wait until I've retired to maybe come out, but I just knew that that's just such a long time of just lying and not being able to have what I want. Has it impacted on your mental health at all? Yeah, it, it did impact on my mental health. But, you know, I just came across that just because I knew that what I wanted and it was just a short period of time of just overthinking and stress and just a lot that came to my mind at once. But now, you know, it's just all gone and I'm just confident and happy to be myself, finally. How important have your family been through this? Was it a huge sense of relief when you told your family? Yeah, definitely. My mum and my sister, obviously, I lived with them and they were like, yeah, we already knew. So they already had an idea of it. And then when we told my whole family, you know, I was quite scared um, with like, the older generation just because I didn't know how they would react. But everyone's been so supportive. I've had messages here, there and everywhere just saying, you know, we're proud and we're supportive. So, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. The day I told my mum and my sister, the day after we played Aquinton and I scored four. So it just shows how much of a weight off the shoulders it was and just a massive relief. How much support have you had from the club during this process? It's been absolutely amazing, you know. The club were the first people I told because um, that was the environment I'm in every day and I feel safe. And then my teammates and they've all been so supportive about it. And, you know, everyone's had their back. I had my back and, you know, they've all been asking questions. They've all been intrigued about what actually happened. So, you know, it's been amazing and it's just the best thing I could have asked for. You've told some of your teammates. Yeah. How did they react? Everyone was just like, you know, kind of shocked in a way because people were saying, why didn't you tell us earlier? Which is quite a good thing because it, it just shows that they, they care. And, you know, the captain and he was one of the main people I told and he was just asking loads of questions about it and he was like, I'm just so proud of you. And, you know, I, I like when people ask questions. It's like, I keep asking more, you know, I just want to get it all out and just people to hear my story. Everyone's just been so supportive and so proud of me. And, you know, it just shows that what a bond we have as a team and, you know, everyone is just like a family to each other. Did that reaction surprise you? I'm guessing you, you had a few sleepless nights about yeah, this. Yeah, definitely, you know, I always overthought it and I was like, are people going to be supportive about it? Because I didn't know. You know, it was a bit of a shock, but I did kind of know like we are all a family and if you don't support it, then you're not a true friend. But everyone's been so supportive. So, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing, all I can ask for. Has it impacted on your behaviour within the dressing room? Have you found yourself withdrawing from from conversations? Yeah, a lot of the time. So there definitely has been conversations where I've just been listening in to just what they wanted, what they have been saying just to know if it is the right time to come out and if I'm going to have that support behind me. You've signed your professional contract. You've scored 30 goals this season. You've made your first team debut in the championship and now you've decided to come out. How do you reflect on the, the <laughs> last 12 months? Because it's been quite incredible for yeah, you, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a crazy year, you know. Everything just kind of happened at once, but it, it feels right. Came into this year just like, I need to smash it, I need to prove myself. And, you know, I think I have just off the top of that, you know, I was like, I'm having such a good year. This one last thing in my head that's just been massive. I just feel like I do need to come out and now it's out and people know. I just feel like I've done it, you know, just live my life how I want to now. And it's just been amazing. It's been incredible. Why do you think there is this big taboo in male professional football about being gay? I think it comes down with a lot of footballers want to be known as like masculinity and I think 
being gay, a lot of people use it as being weak. So a lot of people would say, like, you're doing that because you're gay, and they're going to just say it's because you're weak, and it's, it's just not the case. So a lot of people don't want to do that because in football they are masculine, and it's something that you can get picked on for on the field. So not a lot of people want to do it, but I think because no one's done it, there's just no one has the confidence to do it yet. So I want to be that role model to do it, to maybe push people to be able to come out. Do you feel as though you can inspire others to come out? You're only 17, but clearly you've got clarity in your mind. By coming out, will other people look up to you and, and maybe feel as though they can do it as well? That's what I'm hoping for anyway. You know, I think because I'm younger, people can think, you know, this kid's brave enough to do this. So I think feel like I'll be able to. And I just want to do that for other people. And I want maybe if there is Premier League footballers that are gay and are ready to come out or they want to and they just are waiting. I want someone to contact me and ask, like, how has it been? What was the reaction like? Because I want to help other people. I just hate knowing that people are in the same situation that I'm in. I think if a Premier League footballer does come out, you know, that would just be amazing. You know, I feel like I've done, done my job and I've inspired someone else to do that. But, yeah, I just want, just want it to just go up from here, you know. It sh we shouldn't be where we are right now. Are you worried about homophobia moving forward from fans and on social media? You know, I think it is an easy thing for people to target. You know, I'm kind of just learning that, you know, like, say I'm playing football on the field and they're shouting stuff at me, you know, you're paying to watch me play football and I'm living my life and I'm making money from it, so shout what you want, it's not going to make a difference, you know. So I feel like I can't stop people from saying that stuff, but I just need to learn that for it not to affect me. Can it make a difference for fans as well? Because there will be Blackpool fans who are gay, fans from other clubs who are gay. Does this help to make football more inclusive for everyone? Yeah, definitely, you know, people live their lives how they want to, so I think, you know, it's going to be such a massive thing. There's many people out there that are gay, so just because I play for Blackpool doesn't mean that other people can't support me. And what would your message be to other people watching this who want to come out but have felt fearful of doing that? There's a lot of different aspects that other people will think will scare them a lot, especially in football, you know, some people will think that they're going to get targeted a lot, so, you know, it's in their mind what they want, but speak to people. I know it's such a hard thing because it was such a hard thing for me to do was to speak to people but if you are ready then just speak to the closest people around you and just start off as a small group of telling people and then if you do feel ready just make it bigger and you are going to get support.